Hey Jules, and welcome to my channel. I'm having me a drink, so I wanted to come on and provide some cooking content for my cooking playlist on my channel. So I'm doing fried fish and grits, and what's gonna be with a uh, Cajun etouffee sauce and um, claw crab, not lump crab, but this is actually the real crab meat from the crab claw that will be drizzled on top of the fish with the sauce and the grits. So stay tuned in this video. We're gonna be frying some fish in the skillet. I actually wanted to use my cast iron and I didn't put it in, oh well. I already got the oil in a regular skillet. I kind of want to fry it in my cast iron, but my cast iron kind of small and the fish pieces be long. So let's get into the cooking video. Here I got, um, I wasted olive oil on my clothes because I'm clumsy and I wasted my olive oil, but I'm actually frying the fish in olive oil tonight, not regular canola or vegetable oil, uh, olive oil. Um, olive oil is a lot healthier to fry your foods, number one. But number two, you have to be careful careful with the temperature that you fry with olive oil because it's a low temperature type of oil. So if you want to fry stuff at a very, very, very high, I mean, it fries the fish fine at a high temperature, but it does burn easily. So keep that in mind too. So I got her cleaning out the refrigerator so we can get ready to prepare for my Thanksgiving meal. So she wiping everything. Give me that Tito's out of there. She wiping everything down. She took everything out and cleaned, and now she putting everything back. And I want to show y'all what I'm drinking. I'm drinking on the rest of my Tito's. And then I put some Cayman Jack. This is a um, low carb, low sugar, agave nectar cocktail, a lime margarita. But it, instead of sugar, it's used with agave nectar. So if you know anything about Tito's, Tito's is made in Texas. It's low carb and low calorie, kind of like a healthy handmade vodka, but very, very potent. So don't get it twisted. I just flipped the fish over. So we're gonna let her fry up on the other side. And now I'm about to start the grits. This is such an easy, easy meal. Easy, quick, under 30 minute meal. Or 30 minute meal. I'm about to make my grits, y'all. When I tell y'all this meal is so quick and easy, you can do measurements on your water for your grits. I don't. Well, I kind of just do a little less than half a cup in, or a little less than half of the fill of the pot in like that with no measurement but if you're making grits and you need to know measurements by all means read the box for measurements once the water comes to a boil i'm going to go in with quick grits like i told you we ain't gonna spend a lot of time on grits neither quick 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 yes i'm making spaghetti back there too can i tell y'all this meal about to be so quick and easy i'm not playing oh, i'm not playing at all Ooh. That's strong, but I'm not playing. Gonna make these grits and then my food is done. How do y'all feel about uh, family members helping y'all with dinner, helping y'all cook? How do y'all feel about that? Do do the, do you make the family help, or do you cook, wash dishes, clean the kitchen all by yourself, or do you make the kids and the husband or and the wife cook? I want to know, cause. I don't like slaving in here by myself. I feel like if I slave in here and cook, then at least somebody can come in here and do is wipe down, wash dishes, and make sure the kitchen clean. But then I'm like, okay, if they not gonna do it, then I need to be cleaning as I go, which that's really how it's supposed to go anyway. But at the end of the day, I still feel like everybody should be pitching in. Trying to do this with one hand. I don't have no cameraman tonight, so I put a little bit more. That's enough. A little bit of grits go a long way, y'all. I probably put too much and not enough water, but I make grits so much when I cater for people that I really don't need a water measurement because I know the consistency that I like my grits to be. 
I know how soft I want them and if I ever had to add more water then I eyeball it and add some more water. Key to grits is you gotta babysit them. Don't you dare pour your grits in here and walk away and not mix and mix and mix and stir them. I would say stir them for about two minutes. Then you can walk away briefly and come back. But honestly, they need to be stirred. I do not put any milk product in my grits for them to be fluffy. If anything, I put cheese, which is a milk product, but I don't put milk. And so the cheese gives me flavor and the creaminess that I want without having to use milk. Dropping in some shaved Parmesan pieces that I got. Mm. Shaved Parmesan. Dropping in a little bit of minced garlic. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remix this because I don't have any more butter left. And so I'm going to um, put a homemade garlic butter sauce that I make for our boiled seafood into my grits mixture. I don't know why the flash didn't come on. But I'm gonna put my butter, my garlic butter sauce that, I, that we eat on our seafood boils in here since I ran out of butter. And this garlic butter, as you can see, is seasoned down. So that's just gonna add flavor. Ain't nothing wrong with no flavor. As you can see, my grits to water ratio came out pretty good by eyeballing because I have not had to add any more water and I have creamy consistency that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna let this go a couple more minutes just to get that soft, soft, soft bite that I'm looking for and my dinner will be done. For seasoning, you can pretty much use any type of seasoning, Creole seasoning, salt, pepper, Tony Saturus, lag. You can really use any seasoning to your liking. So I'm not going to really impede on your preference. My preference is salt, um, onion powder, Tony Saturus. And if I don't use Tony Saturus, then it'll be like a red... Um, spice, paprika, cayenne, just to give me like a red, not all the way white tone. Remember, everything is a season to taste. So I just added, a, oh, that steam won't let us be great. But I just added a little bit more seasoning because I felt like it needed it after I tasted it. And it gave me the color I'm looking for. Let me see if it give me the flavor I'm looking for. What is your kind? Got my phone and everything fogged up. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's hot. But that last seasoning, <clears throat> that last batch of seasoning, see, that's why you got a season to taste because you keep tasting your food until it tastes like you want it to. And if you don't taste it, you'll never know how you want it to taste. That's it right there for me. I'm ready. And here's the final product, guys. We got the grits as the base. We got the piece of fish filet across the top. We got the etouffee, homemade etouffee sauce drizzled across the top of the fish and the grits. And then we got the claw crab, the real claw crab meat drizzled on top and sprinkled with some parsley for presentation. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna taste it before I go sit on my bed. Make sure I get everything. I got a piece of fish, crab, and grits. Look at that. saying with the kid oh we be saying that good that boy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we be like that good that boy when i tell y'all this is so flavorful as long as you layer your food 
with seasoning, but not too much salt. Don't use too many salt products. But garlic, onion, um, complete seasoning. Got a little bit of everything in it. Um, the Goya brand. A lot of people don't mess with Goya no more because I think he had something to do with like supporting Trump. But girl, I, I'm not in politics or none of that. So I use what I like. I don't give a damn what brand on it. And if they prejudice and don't like blacks or whatever the case may be, Trump supporter, I don't get all into that. I use what I like. So I layer my food and flavors. This is just so seafoody, so creamy. I can taste the spire. Mm -hmm. I can just taste everything. I can taste the fresh minced garlic that I put in it. I can taste the seasoning that's on the fish in the cornmeal. Everything. The grits came out perfect, y'all. I eyeballed the water. I eyeballed the grits. You don't get no better than a healthy, light meal like this. Y'all know I got a baby stomach because I'm the VSG queen. So stuff like this, not fattening, but it's packed with flavor and it's good. And that's all that matters. So until the next video, Jules, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more of my videos. And I'll see you on the next video. Let those lights shine bright because we all, all the are Jules, Jules in God's eyesight. Bye, Jules. I couldn't eat my whole plate, so that's the rest of my fish. I literally, I ate like or one side of the fish, so this the rest of my fish and grits. And then I got me some spaghetti on here for my lunch tomorrow, and so I'm good to go for tomorrow. Then I got Bay lunch packed up. She got spaghetti, and then she got her fish and grits in here. Get a little dark spot. <laughs>